subscribe to our channel. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and do press the bell icon to get notified on each video we post. Our South India road trip begins today. It's going to be a 15 day trip. It's 3.43 a.m. right now. We are going to leave at 4 a.m. Our first destination which is Gokarna at 5.11 uh, p.m. Without the expressway is a heavy traffic jam. So we have taken another route from Kokoli. After I think around half an hour we will again enter into expressway. After 6.5 kilometers, we will enter into National Highway 48. Currently, we are passing through Khopoli, which is really well developed. Now, we are in Lonawala. After this Lonawala, we will take an exit for expressway it's too cloudy in Lunaola so we are now at Mumbai Pune expressway and the scene is something like this it looks so beautiful so this is the Talega toll it's already 6.5 and we have reached Talega it's 6.15 right now and we are already in Pune. It took us 2 hours and 15 minutes to reach Pune. That's great. So we are here to have tea. It's quite good. It's almost seven o'clock now. We have reached somewhere beyond Pune. Uh, started at four a.m. and in Less than 3 hours, I think in 2, two hours 15 minutes we were in Pune, now much beyond Pune. So I think the next halt we will take it maybe near Satara. Kumari, Bangalore and so much so as you all know we have completed six Jyotir links and one Chardham till now so in this trip we are actually going to cover seventh Jyotir link and the second Chardham we are going to cover interesting temples like Iskon Temple, Omkareshwara Temple, Shiva Temple and many more. And we are going to cover big statues like Adi Yogi, Shiva uh, statue in Murudeshwar and so many statues. So this trip is going to be awesome. Yes, Dresh. Danya, can you tell me more about the trip? Yes, Dresh. We are going to cover amazing places like Dhanushkadi which is the last Indian town of South India. Then we are going to cover Ram Setu and Kanyakumari, which is the southernmost tip of peninsular India. 
It is also known as the Land's End. Oh wow! As in when we proceed towards each day, we are going to book hotels on the fly using apps such as Airbnb, Agoda, Vigo, etc. We are going to cover 4,000 kilometers in just 15 days. Our XUV 700 is now at 19,000 kilometers, and by the time we are back, we will surpass 20,000 kilometers. So our next service will be done at 23,000 kilometers just on returning from this trip. Oh, nice. So now we enter Mumbai Satara Highway. Here the ghat starts. Jiska naam kisi ko pata hi nahi hai. Ghat ka naam K ke upar hai ki B ke upar kisi ko bhi nahi pata. So finally we meet the first range of our new road trip. Yay! right now and we reached Satara in 4 hours. Usually we reach Pune in 4 hours and today we reach Satara in 4 hours. So this is Kagar Satara Highway. It's raining over here and we are very close to Kolhapur. It's 10.15 right now and we are in Kolhapur. So right now, Mama is getting us some thepla ready. And over there, Daddy is ordering coffee for himself and Mama, Daddy and Daddy. Adrishto, must thepla khake, so jayenge. So, Drish is already eating thepla right now. How? How is the thepla, Drish? So, here comes the Maharashtra border check post. From there, Karnataka starts. Karnataka's check post. The previous one was Maharashtra's. Janya, Karnataka's roads are very smooth and nice, isn't it? Yes. See guys, can you see that XUV 500? That is Ritu and T's Gadi. Uh, they were going towards uh, Bangalore and we are going uh, to mm -hmm. Gokarna. So we met coincidentally. <laughs> So our uh, this trip is more similar to our recent Goa trip. Like uh, our recent Goa trip uh, was uh, Pune, uh, Kolhapur, and then Aj Ajra and uh, the whole route. This trip is uh, a bit more different. It's like Pune, Kolhapur, and Belgavi. <laughs> so our first destination actually is Murudeshwar, but uh, since it's quite far. So we need to take a break at some place. So we chose Gokarna. So we'll you know stay at Gokarna and then we'll proceed towards Murudeshwar. So in this route, sometimes Maharashtra we enter in Maharashtra and sometimes we enter in uh, Karnataka. Yeah, it's on and off. Yeah. So in Maharashtra, uh, you will just get tar roads and in. Uh, Karnataka, you will get cement roads. This is cement road. That means this is Karnataka. Uh. Then when Tar road uh, comes, that means it's Maharashtra. Uh. So this is the Hatargi Toll Plaza. Karnataka Toll Plaza. Yeah, Karnataka. Karnataka is 32 kilometers from here. Okay. Uh, one of the ghats of Karnataka and 
they are really well maintained bro this road actually is so 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 amazing like long trees tall trees yeah tall trees so right now we were in state highway and now we are in national highway like we uh, we'll uh, we'll be in state highway then we'll be in national highway then again we'll be in state highway so now we are at indian oil petrol pump But I don't know why people say petrol pump. I don't care. Uh, so now we have come to a petrol pump, and now uh, we are going to fill. Uh, fill fuel. Hello. 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 So now, in uh, maps, uh, maps is showing that uh, now three hours is left for uh, in Gokarna parts in the year. So it's a long drive. I was like actually doing like Kung Karan when I was Ravan's brother. So like uh, I was just. Um, I just woke up uh, to um, actually eat or do some work or else I was sleeping. <laughs> It is 3:58 right now. We reached go uh, go Karna in just 12 hours instead of 14 hours. So we are going to reach go Karna at 4:16. It is 18 minutes. Right. 18 minutes are left. 9.6 kilometer. See, these are salt water pans. Yes, over oh, there. You can see heaps of salt. See. Uh, all right. We are trying to find uh, the homes that we chose. अरे गो करना होम स्टे किधर है होम स्टे ये वाला सो वी वर फाइंडिंग होम स्टे एंड वी गॉट दिस होम स्टे सो फ्रॉम देर वी कैन डप टिल एंड आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टू रूम On the first floor, I can say. So basically, this is the first room. This room is taken by Dadi and Dada. That's the washroom over there. It's pretty nice. Then uh, this is the bed, and we even have a cooler over here, which is good. Then we have this other room. So again, this is a washroom. It's again nice. And uh, then this is a room with a cooler, and uh, it gives us that beach vibe again. So it's good. And this is what it looks from the outer side. Something like this. and the beach is right over there uh, that's this after that pillar you see the beach directly so we can uh, you know yahan se sirf niche utar ke humko beach ka access hai like yahan se you go out niche utar ke you go from here or on the other side and then you just go straight to straight and then you just enter the beach oh yeah so it's just straight and then enter the beach So Papa is now, you know, relaxing after traveling from Mumbai to Gokarna, which is approximately seven hundred and five kilometers, and thirteen uh, hours forty-four minutes. 
like for uh, 14 hours and we actually completed our whole drive in 12 hours instead of 14 hours so now we are just you know relaxing for some time after such a long 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 drive <laughs> so for today our plan is to visit the beach after some time and uh, then you know we'll relax come in our room sleep and after that uh, we'll you know just relax then tomorrow uh, we are planning to visit uh, the Mahabaleshwara temple which is uh, you know considered uh, one of the most important Jyotirlings not out of 12 but it is one important Huh. The, uh, you have uh, a strict dress code like you know you have to wear dhotis and uh, like men have to wear dhotis and uh, females have to wear salwar, kameez and sarees whatever is possible and uh, hmm? yeah foreigners are not allowed so now we are going towards the beach So the beach is like you need to pass through this Sida Sida Jain you reach the beach. As usual, Trish wants to do physical activity. Janya is enjoying the bridge. Now Janya is asking for photographs. So let's go for it. For a change, Shanam is taking photographs. It's usually the other way around. It's like me and Janya are usually taking photographs of Shanam. But today, for a change, Shanam is taking the photographs and we are enjoying and doing videography. The sky is so pretty right now. It's pink in color and it's so beautiful. Like after sunset views are amazing. Mm -hmm. 